Hi everyone, welcome to a special edition of Icons brought to you by Host and Stay. I'm Ollie Huddlestone and I'm delighted to be with borough legend Stuart Downing. Today we're going to be going through Stuart's career in football shirts at the borough, looking at the ups, the downs and some special shirts along the way. Stewie, check those out. Which one stands out to you? Uh, oh, this, this feels like a debut shirt, Yeah, if I remember. Uh, this was a big one because of Jimmy's goal, obviously. I think were we were level on points, I can't remember. At, at, yeah. at the time, we needed uh, we just needed to get a draw, didn't we, to get through. Yeah. Jimmy's goal, obviously. Uh, so yeah, them two are standing out at the minute for me. All right, well, let's go, let's go through them. Starting off with this, yeah, which you wore in your debut. Yeah. Ipswich Town. Yeah. What can you remember from that day? Looking at it, it probably still wouldn't fit me now, would it? I mean, amazing. I mean, I think from the day, uh, didn't know I was going to be playing. Yeah. I travelled obviously down there in the squad. I thought I might get on the bench because it was quite a light squad at the time. My dad, I think I've told the story before, had been to nearly every game in my career and I told him I wouldn't be involved. So don't make you wait, it's just a long way to go. Then an hour before the game, I find out I'm starting and he's absolutely fuming. <laughs> he's, I think he's still angry with me now, but yeah, that's all I remember the big thing of that is I found out very late, about an hour before the game that I was starting and uh, we lost one nil, but I think in terms of memories, like I say, it was my debut, my yeah. first game. Play well? Um, yeah, did all right. Did all right in the game. Darren Bent actually, I think, made his debut and scored the goal, didn't yeah, he? The beat yeah, us one nil. Yeah. Matt Venus, I think, played that game who ended up being my coach at Blackburn yeah, at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show my age now. All comes round, doesn't it? All yeah. comes round. Great memories. Yeah, that's my first game, so. Brilliant. Now, on to the next one. Brentford away. Do you know what I'm going to say about this one? Brentford, I scored this game, didn't I? Yeah. Debut goal, yeah. Brentford away. What was that like, scoring your first goal for your hometown club? Amazing. I mean, to be fair, that was my first game in the cup. Sorry, that was my first league game, the other one. Yeah. We won 4-1, I think, in that game. I actually yeah. got told off at the end of that game because Brentford scored a goal at the end and I was supposed to be on the post. <laughs> Left the post and then they scored. Steve McLaren gave me a ticket off for that. I think it was more keep your feet on the ground a yeah, little bit. Yeah. But I'd scored, like I said, my first, my first goal for Middlesbrough. And it was, yeah, amazing memories and good result. More about these shirts, like compared to the later years, like the Adidas yeah. ones and stuff, these are a lot yeah. heavier. It must have been a nightmare playing in the rain in that. Uh, did you tell me that was a match-worn shirt? This one is. This one, that's I mean, from, That's from a debut. I mean, I remember that shirt. It was, it was short sleeve, but it was literally on my wrist, so yeah. massive shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I used to like that kit, actually. On to the reason we're here today. Yeah. The 2003-2004 shirt. Yeah. What was it like being in the dressing room with Mendieta, Gareth Southgate, World yeah. Cup winner Janina? Yeah. I, from that period to the end of the season, I had about six, seven months where I came back off loan from Sunderland. Um, and I say my aim was sort of to get in the squad, if you like, get on the bench, try and get involved. Um, so coming back into the team, then we sort of late in the cup run. So I got involved, come off the bench a couple of times. Obviously the final I was on the bench, didn't get on, but it was just a good time to the end of that season. I came to the team where we started to, yep. to get results. It was a bit of a buzz around the area. So it was a great time for me to come in, playing with Mendy at his endings. George and all these lads, yeah. like I say, for a young lad like me, it was amazing. And you, also, you, you played in the earlier rounds, I think you played at the Tottenham. Yeah. Where does the Carling Cup win sit in your in terms of your career achievements? Yeah. Oh, right up there. Amazing. I, I think Morkers is your hometown club. Mm -hmm. Our first trophy in, was it the first trophy ever, I think? Yeah, that is true. Um, yeah, so I think from, from obviously coming off loan, Sunderland in the Championship in the October, November, to the end of the season winning the trophy and then yeah. playing with like I say, Mendy, Zenden, Crazy. George and all these players. Absolutely amazing. Uh, I think, it's not even disappointment, I think just to get on the bench actually in the final, considering yeah. the lads that got left out of that. Yeah. Great achievement and, and like I say, it was amazing. 04, 05. Yeah. What a season. Highest ever Premier League finish. Fin yeah. We finished seventh. Yeah. Secured European football for a second season in a row. Good season for you personally. Uh, I think you scored away at Old Trafford, not in this kit, obviously, in the white one. Yeah. Uh, you scored the winner at Agalio in the UEFA Cup. Yeah. But this one, just reminds me of that Man City game, last game of the season. Yeah. The one all. Have you ever played with a player that hits the ball as hard as Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank? No, and <laughs> shout as hard as him as well. Um, I think that season for me was a, was a, a lot of people say it was a breakthrough season sort of thing, yeah. if, if that's the word you use. Um, I'd sort of come up, like I say, the loan at the back end of that season, the start of the season, Bolo was still obviously here. A mm -hmm. couple of injuries happened for Mendy. I'm just trying to rejig my mind mm -hmm. now. And then obviously I get a chance in the team. Yeah. And I think that season is the season where I got in and sort of, you know, got my chance, took my chance, stayed in the team and, and sort of had a run and then that season was amazing. I mean, yeah, yeah. some of the games, we had some results. I mean, I can speak about for hours and hours yeah, yeah, what yeah. we did. It just felt like we were on a bit of a crest. You know, yeah. we're a really good team. I think we finished, like you said, the seventh in the league, mm -hmm. carried on for Europe again. 
and it just felt amazing. Imagine a young player coming to that Premier League team, and you know, yeah. don't believe it's true if that's the word. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. we had an amazing season, like I said, one of the best best seasons we've ever had. So great, amazing, memories. amazing times. And this this is the uh, shirt that David James wore when he got stuck up front in that yeah. game, which was just crazy thinking about it now. But yeah. on, on the topic of Man City, we've had a few run-ins with Man City. Yeah. Another one being two thousand end of two thousand eight season. You scored two. Yeah. We beat him eight one. Uh, I think Richard Dunn got sent off early. Have you yeah. played in a crazier game than that in your career? No, and I like to remind Man City, you know, fans <laughs> and people now that you know we did actually beat them one, eight one once. Yeah. I know they're an unbelievable team now now, but that was the start. I think they had an owner just before that, before the, the other owners yeah. take over. But they were still a big team. We're spending yeah, a lot of yeah. money. And obviously, no one can plan it was eight one, but I think the way it happened, I think Richard Dunn got sent off early in the game. I can't remember how early it was. I had a penalty early in the game, and then everything. That didn't happen, maybe through that season happened. Yeah. Every you know, shot, every free kick, every chance sort of seemed to just go in. And I think Alves that day got a hat rick, didn't he? Yeah. Um, you got two, but that I volley. got two, so that's, that's rare, because yeah, yeah. I never get two. Don't normally shoot twice on goal in the game, but yeah. And it was just an amazing day. Like I said, we finished the season really, really good. Yeah. Amazing win, and um, yeah, that's the memory of that. But I always like to remind people that we won 8-1 against yeah. Man City. Got to stick that one in, don't you? Yeah, yeah you've got to get that in. Right, now, on to this one. Very, very famous kit for obvious reasons, reaching that cup, cup run in your way for cup, yeah. uh, getting to the final. Yeah. Talk to me about that semi final, Stalbuck arrest, three assists. Yeah. When you, last minute, you one on one, what were you thinking? Well, I th if you remember the clip just before that, the ball falls yeah. to their midfield player, I can't remember. I always speak about this. And if he clears it, we then probably don't get a chance to get one, and we probably go out just by yeah. near, we were unlucky. Which at the time, I think at halftime, we have to be honest, we'd have thought, well, we'll take that because a bit of pride got given back because we got a few goals back. But you need a bit of luck in games. You need a bit of to go your way, if that's the word. And like I say, he miskicks it. Professional footballer miskicks it, yeah, to me. And then I think, like, I have to beat this man because if he takes it off me again, they yeah. break on us. I get half a yard and in my head, I'm just thinking, just put it in the box in a good area. Yeah. And we've got lads who can score goals. And Massimo was great for us that season coming in at that far post as a right winger because he was a centre forward yeah. and I just knew as soon as I seen him running I thought yeah we're going to get a goal because we had Viduka I think at the time Jimmy yeah. Jakub on the pitch at the time I think yeah. Massimo Chris Rigger Chris Rigger he wasn't yeah. small was he he, popped he wasn't up small well. just put it into an area and scored a goal and, and that, so that was that amazing memories obviously yeah. the final was overshadowed because I think everyone looks and thinks 4-0 you were out of your death you got beat a little bit but there was moments in that game where 1-0 we should have had a penalty it wasn't the story of the game was it the 4-0 no we had a massive chance I think Viduka had a volley saved at 1-0 yeah. of course 1-1 do we then get that momentum to go yeah. again like that semi-final so little things but listen yeah. they were an amazing team to build so they were we done really well to get the final yeah. if you look, look back at some of the players they had like Danny Alves and oh, all these players it's really crazy amazing. now on to this one which is look still got the mud stains on it yeah this is your match worn from Basel I believe, and this is a very awesome. special shirt because there's not many of these around. I think it's yeah. a one-off. But talk to me about the buzz of the town at the time. Like, what was it like being a small town in Europe? Yeah, I think we just we just turned up and thought we could beat anybody. And I think a lot of teams maybe looked at us and think, "Who are Middlesbrough? Yeah. <laughs> Where they're from?" And I think it took people by surprise. We had a really good team, really good players. I mean, Basel on the night. I can't remember. They had a really good player called Delgado on that night. I think they beat us two 0 in Basel. I might be wrong. Mm -hmm. They were a really good outfit that night. But I just think we had a confidence of going anywhere because we were sort of unknown a little bit. Yeah. We could beat anyone. We yeah. weren't really afraid. And obviously, we come and stuck against Seville because that yeah. attitude obviously <laughs> went a little bit too far. And Seville obviously uh, beat us. But yeah, amazing, amazing yeah. trips we had. And we just really felt really confident we could beat anybody. 2015 16 season. Yes. You dropped down from the Premier League to the Championship. What was that like? Dropping down the league. What, what was the main difference between the Premier and the Championship? Because you've been a play Premier League player for so yeah. long. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was different. It was it, Obviously, Champions is a difficult league. I got to know that over the years after that. Um, it's relentless, two, three games a week. Totally different from the Premier League. Um, no disrespect, obviously, the standard was high in the Premier League, but the Championship is, is yeah. it's just relentless, you know what I mean? It can test you physically, and obviously, I was 31 year old. I found it difficult the first couple of months, I'll be honest. But then, you know, I loved it, and, and obviously, the main aim was to get promoted, which we, yeah. which we did on the final day. I would have liked it a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah. Them, draw, them draws at the end had us all biting yeah. our fingers, yeah, yeah. But at one point, I think we were 10 points clear with the game in hand, and then we sort of, that's yeah. what the Champions is, it throws a lot of things in. We lost a few games. But yeah, amazing memories. We got promoted in that, in that shirt, and, um, and that's what the job was at the start yeah. of the season. No so, matter how we do it, just get promoted. So on that point then, the season before, we get to Wembley, 
you're, you're not part of the squad. Get yep. to Wembley, we'll lose to Norwich. Yeah. After beating them 4 1 and 4 0 and 1 0 yep. that, that season. What was the main difference in between losing at Wembley and then going up the season after? Like, what, what sort of clicked and what was that main factor? I think, um, I think on, on that Wembley day with, when they lost to Norwich, a lot, a lot of when I speak to lads was the preparation, obviously they turned up late at the game, yeah. stuff like that didn't help. Yeah. And obviously you can make excuses for that, but I think it didn't help. Norwich were there, relaxed, and, yeah. and they felt a bit flustered, the lads, and, and obviously they got beat. Because I think they beat Norwich twice that year yeah. in the league. 4-0 at home, 1-0 so away. So maybe that, that, you know, young lads, that affected them a little bit. So I think that was a big thing, but mm -hmm. in a way it, it was good because we had that experience of being in finals and it yeah. was sort of, you know, let's not get to a final, let's do it automatic instead of going through that. Yeah. Panic of the you know, but yeah, it was amazing, and uh, I think it just gives the lads confidence of thinking, you know, we're a good team, and, and, and strive to thinking we're nearly there. We just need to get that last little bit, and that's what got us over the line the second season when we went promoted. Yeah. Yeah. And in terms of borough players, I haven't checked the fact, facts book or whatever, but I think you must be the only player that has won a major trophy, got relegated, and got promoted again with the club. I All think right. I think that's a fact. You have to check that out, someone. Um, did it, did it feel like when you got promoted, you sort of came full circle as a player? Yeah, yeah because I left on a... I'm thinking of Janino now. Did he do something similar? But I, I, I think because um, I left on a relegation, mm -hmm. injured. I got injured just before that final season in 2009. I felt a little bit... I don't know, I was a bit, a bit, a bit sad a little bit that I'd left on them terms. I wanted to leave where we're a Premier League club. I can go on and, and on to pass new. But we got relegated. And I always thought if you get to the end, and a chance came up to Middlesbrough if they win the Premier League obviously that would have been a perfect one because they were in the Championship the time and Big Sam had left West Ham yeah. and I just thought yeah it's a good time to go back everyone questioned me for it what is he doing yeah. but maybe your heart yeah. rolled ahead a little bit but I just wanted to go back and, and obviously to get promoted to sort of you know, right or wrong sort of thing and, and just finish on a high and I'm glad I did it that season because it, like I said it topped off yeah. what happened what was it seven, eight years before yeah brilliant now on to this kit, obviously, the Premier League season, we get promoted. Yeah. Not the best. That's not a good season. chair for me. Nah, <laughs> it's, not, it's not, it's not. But is there any, any good memories from this season? I think there's always memories, like different results along the way. You know, we went to Arsenal and got a draw, big, big teams. Yeah. And listen, we started the season really well. We, yeah. You know, but little things happened. We were beating Stoke at home, I think. We conceded late. And then, sort of, maybe confidence dipped a little bit as the season went on. Obviously, results don't happen. We beat Swansea at home 3 0 near Christmas, and I thought, we will go on a bit of a run now, we'll be okay, and then yeah, we yeah, dipped. Yeah. Same. It's like the Premier League, it's unforgiving. Um, difficult season, that one. Difficult, really, really difficult. What, what was it like being back in the big time? First game against Stoke, Riverside packed. Yeah. What was that atmosphere like? Yeah, it was amazing. And, was, and obviously, we were confident that we could beat them, yeah. and we were the best team for large periods. Yeah, yeah. But I think the Premier League that day showed what it's about, and if you don't kill teams off, yeah. you can get punished. And this was only Stoke, and they scored a free kick late on. I think one bit Shikiri, of difference. Yeah. One one, and then you thinking, how we lock, how we do yeah. that game? And then maybe a bit of doubt creeps in, a bit of confidence. We're only young players, not experienced in the Premier League. So I think that was the biggest thing. It, you know, if we'd have won that game, we yeah. might have went on one three or four. So yeah small margins I think now on to your England career such a proud moment for you talk to me about your call up how did it happen what was it yeah. a meeting was it a phone call talk to me about your call up so my call up was I know a lot of people say they get phone calls on and, and they think is this a bit of a wind up or this or that but I, I, the, the squad before they played in Madrid against Spain mm -hmm. um, and see my time to pull me saying they were thinking about putting me in the squad but they didn't think it was the, the right game maybe because Spain away difficult game maybe yeah. for a young lad to go in which obviously I was gutted at the time, but you look back and think, yeah, good decision. Because yeah. <laughs> I might not have touched the ball that night against Spain. But then the next one was Holland, and all Steve McLaren said to me is, keep doing what you're doing, mm -hmm. and you'll be in that next squad. Yeah. So I think for the call up, I sort of knew it was coming, but I just yeah. had to keep performing. So I knew it was going to be the next squad in a, in a way, and it was just about getting, re getting ready for it, you know, yeah. trying to. I'm glad I found out a little bit early because I knew what was going to come instead of getting it last minute and then yeah. thrown in. And like I say, once I got there, I just wanted to play, get it out of the way, and sort of put that one cap out the yeah. way. And it was amazing, like I say, I played the second half against Holland. It wasn't a great game, it was nil-nil, but still yeah. a great experience at Villa Park, which I then went on to obviously play yeah. a few years after. Yeah, it was amazing, I mean, like I say, but I'm glad. I think let me know early, obviously helped me then yeah. getting to know later on the game. Yeah, so. yeah. But yeah. And in terms of your international career, give me one, what's the highlight of your international career for England? I think going to the World Cup 2006. Yeah, it was amazing. I think I'd come back from an injury and then I came back on the team back in October, November time. I always remember Steve Rand, Steve McLaren said there's, I think there's 28 games at the end of the season. That's if we get in the UEFA Cup final, FA Cup final and the uh, Carlin Cup. 
So I think we ended up getting to the FA Cup semi-final. Mm -hmm. Sorry, league games. So I played all the league games, FA Cup semi-final, so one game was off. And um, what was the other one just said? And the UEFA Cup, obviously, we got to the final. So it worked out quite well for me. And Sven watched a lot of them European games. And I knew he was there. And normally England managers leave during the final yeah. ten minutes before the end. He stayed till the end in, in the Bucharest game. Did that spur you on, like knowing he was there? Did that, did, did yeah. that affect you in your in your mind? No, no, it didn't affect me no because I, I knew he liked me anyway. But I just thought this is my chance. And if he doesn't pick me, then I've yeah. I've had not done nothing. Not done. I just thought this is my chance. Yeah. And I'm glad he stayed till the end because obviously yeah, the, the, yeah. the the big bit happened at the end. And um, I remember Adrian Bevington said to me years after that that sort of got me in the squad. Crossing the ball, I was different to maybe an Aaron Lennon, a Walcott different type of player. Mm -hmm. So that's why he took me. So probably a big 10 minutes of my career is the end of the Bucharest game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Euro European games obviously helped because playing against international players on that stage, that's what you're going to get in the World Cup. So I think that definitely that six month period of the European games definitely got me into that World Cup squad. Yeah, amazing stuff. So out of all these, then we've got we've got some absolute beauties here. Yeah, if you could choose one for the fondest memories, which one would it be? Do we only get one? One. One, right. I think it's got to be the Carlin Cup, hasn't it? I think, obviously tonight, obviously with the dinner, I'm only yeah, seeing that because of tonight, I just think, hold it. Go on. I just think coming back off loan, like you say, it's to be involved in the squad. Yeah. Didn't get on the pitch, but I was on the bench, involved in the, you've got to say, one of the most successful teams in Middlesbrough's ever had. Yeah. Playing was unbelievable. Look at the, the pitches, the unbelievable players as a young player. Yeah, great memory. And I was still a bit of a fan then, I'll yeah, be honest. Yeah. I wasn't like sort of in play more then. I was still a bit of a fan. So yeah, I think that's got to be the best one. Brilliant. Yeah, for me. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching that special edition of Icons. Thank you to Host and Stay and to the Borough Shirt Museum for making all this happen. Stewie, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. Up the Borough.